Hey guys, I'm just gonna make a little video here, uh, taking a break from the endless hours on the internet for the last few days, as we're or the last week or ten days longer, as the Ottawa pro protests uh, carry on, and we're all holding our breath, and many of us wishing we could be there. Uh, I did what little I could by making my music video, and I wanted to make this video which isn't exactly on topic, it's about the music, music industry and, uh, you know, particularly in reaction to how Neil Young's company took my video off of uh, YouTube and uh, this is just because I just think it's all interesting, it's been kind of a theme in my life and so I wanted to say a few words about it if you don't have time because there's too much news happening right now, I fully understand and maybe come back and watch this video once the truckers have been successful so anyway, here goes. I'm going to talk about the music industry and about musicians and, you know, as a Gen Xer who, uh, you know, I, I listened to Neil Young and, and such in, in high school and stuff, but uh, pretty much got into punk rock and that whole ethos of not selling out became really important to me. I took it really seriously. And uh, although there was one exception to me, which was The Clash. And all my punk friends hated me for it. They were like, they thought I was a sellout. Or they thought I, I, I was a fan of sellouts. And I always liked uh, one thing Joe Strummer said was, he said, you know, no matter how big a stadium we play, if I can turn one head around, then I've done my job. And I respected that. But then again, he was Joe Strummer. Very few bands have ever lived up to that sort of integrity. And I certainly never thought of myself as someone who could. Uh, I met, I've been playing music my whole life. Had a few bands. Met some great people. I played mostly in bars and stuff and small clubs. And, um, and I've made demos, but there isn't a single record company on earth that I ever sent one to. <laughs> because in the end of the day, I just watched the music industry from afar and thought, I'm not going to be one of those people. Now, uh, the other thing this has to do a lot with is the whole idea of money and getting rich, which everyone's so obsessed with. Old Neil got himself $1 billion for only half the rights to his uh, music. And uh, it was his company, or the company that he partnered with or sold out to, whatever you want to call it. Hypnosis, very strange name. I happen to speak Greek. Many people know that Gnosis is the... Uh, is the basis of the word for knowledge. Hello, little guy. And it's a weird way, to, weird twist. Turn hypnosis into hip knowledge. I don't know what the hell they're trying to say there, but anyway, they took my video down and uh, on copyright claims. And we all know that we, they took it down because they didn't like how I used it and why I used it and what it was for and who it was in support of. So, the mistake I made, too, was I sent it, a link to Randy Bachman on his, on his website, on the, on the contact form. And I was very naive of me, because I'm sure, I doubt Randy ever saw it, but some underling of his immediately notified some underling of Neil Young's, and they got in a case and took me down. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, another thing I've been wasting too much time on lately is self-promotion on the internet, which I've never done before. I just, I'm not that kind of person. And I really believe that the reason why all modern music, or most of it, that you hear, I will not refer to people I don't get a chance to hear, but the modern music that gets out is crap, <laughs> precisely for the reason that the only people that do get out are the ones who are willing to shamelessly promote themselves on the internet, in which... Uh, I repeat, I find tedious, it just ain't me. Nevertheless, because this thing is so important, I just wanted my video to get out. I wanted people to, I wanted to lend my support to what's going on there. Uh, and it's been quite the, quite the boring, repetitive, arduous task. You know, uh, I'm trying to comment to everyone who, who shares it. I don't think this thing, um, my apologies, I'm talking on a, four-year-old cell phone and a four-year-old 
stabilizer device from Feiyu, both of which I bought because I was going to be a, an internet vlogger uh, <laughs> back then. And then I kind of lost interest in that. Only this movement, biggest movement of my life, these truckers, these working people, this real working class movement that has the left terrified. And I was a leftist all my life. That sure turned around the last few years. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. Uh, this movement has became important enough for me to start spending some time and energy again on music and on trying to talk to people. So, you know, back to this whole thing about money and music. Now, I may be naive, but I've discovered in life that when you, when you stop worrying about money, you know, you'd be surprised how, uh, whoop, let's see, is this thing working? <laughs> you'd be surprised that things kind of find ways of taking care of themselves. Now, that'd be an asinine thing for me to say to working people who are trying to put food on the table for their families. But to all of you out there who, you know, trying so hard to get rich, two things will happen to you. One is you'll fail and you'll feel miserable because you'll be so concentrating on how important it is to you that it will evade you. The other route is you'll start making money. And once you have your millions, Johnny, yeah, Johnny, yeah, Johnny. Uh, I'm trying to walk my dog too. Two birds with one stone here. Um, once you do get that million, it won't be enough. You'll be, you'll decide millions, nothing these days. I need a billion. Like Neil, Neil got a billion. Why did Dylan only get half a billion? I'm not quite sure. But the fact that either one of those people proved that in the end that's all they really gave a shit about, oh, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I really don't. Neil, are you really going to be happy with that money? Mm. And are you really just sitting there watching TV to get your news? Can you really not see that this is a movement of honest Canadian people, working people in America and the U.S., who are just fed up with this shit? I mean, are you really going to try to tell yourself that they're, <laughs> that they're just anti-vax racists? That's awful. I don't want to be you. Never would want to be you. So, I'll just close with saying, you know, if people look me up on the internet, you'll find out that what I do for a living, how I make enough money to have pulled out of the city, is I'm a voiceover artist. And I try to maintain my integrity about that. I have turned down way more work than I've accepted. I don't do pharmaceutical companies. I don't do anything to do with the medical industry, insurance industry, finance industry. I've been very lucky to have been chosen or for, for campaigns that are for John Deere, Caterpillar, Bobcat, automobiles, a lot of working man stuff. Yeah, did I say Bobcat? <laughs> Uh, which I'm really proud of. And this is not a promo for that. Sorry. But people might look me up and they might say, oh, he is kind of a sellout because he sells himself. But I don't sell my music to anyone. All right? Never have. Never really want to. Maybe individuals, if they enjoy it, you know, come and watch a show or whatever or download a song. But, man, I have no intention, especially at my age. <laughs> I had never had any intention all my life of being one of those people. So I guess that's it. That's my two cents. I just wanted to say, you know, money ain't going to get you out of this very, very crazy world we're living in right now. Humanity will, and that's what these people are proving, okay? I way more prefer their company than the company of all the stars, of all the musicians, and of all Hollywood. Who needs those people? Keep on trucking, people. Peace out.